And it's really sad. It's, it's really sad because for, for decades the developing world has been saying we need to end Israeli apartheid. And the developed world, world has just closed their eyes, their ears, everything um, to what's been going on there. And, and so now we have this where um, lots of people have died on both sides. A lot more will die, it seems. Like um, uh, we were kind of hoping that there'll be a de escalation at some point. But um, realistically speaking, I don't know that that is going to happen anytime soon. So until that happens, you're talking about a lot, a lot, a lot of people being killed, a lot of innocent people, a lot of men, women, and children who um, just want to raise their children, who just want to have a piece of the earth that they believe is theirs to, to raise their families and to ensure that the generation that comes up does better than their generation. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really sad, man, and I think the developed world, um, they've allowed us to reach this point. That has always been our position. We've always... Um, every year in the um, United Nations, a voice of support for the Palestinian, Palestinians' right to self-determination. We've always um, supported their cause. We've always called for the end to Israeli apartheid. But where we are right now is um, it's really, really bad, man. It's really, really bad. And uh, um, I can't begin to imagine what's going on there. Like, I, I, I try to imagine uh, what it's like to be a citizen there. To, to, to have to grapple with that in 2023 like you keep praying that uh, as we grow old as a world we get more mature and 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 um, seeing his prevail but um, clearly it's getting worse clearly the world is imploding and um, it's so tragic man we shed tears for all those folks out there